Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I wanted to go through the new release Hyundai navigation updates. So specifically for my model I've, I'll be looking for the Ionic uh, 2020 uh, model and that's the EV full electric. Uh, so as you can see here now that what's been newly released uh, this month is now we have the option for Europe and Europe does include still the UK so um, our UK cars are still supported. But as you can see, there is multiple countries you can select from that's appropriate for your area where you can actually download this software. And then also, of course, the representing uh, languages you can change as well. So as you can see, there's very straightforward interface. They've made, tried and made it as, as straightforward as possible. As you might have seen in my previous video, it was a bit of a uh, troublesome to update our navigation software uh, before because we would have to download a file from the uh, internet and then you would have to then extract that um, and make some additions to any of the files inside there sometimes um, before you could update your system. Of course, some people are apprehensive, or, um, uh, rightly so, with your car. Um, with the software worrying that it could break something or the update could change something um, that wasn't um, that you wanted. So of course this is the official Hyundai and again Hyundai is part of the uh, group so this includes also Genesis and Kia as well um, for their sites. But this specifically today we're looking just at the European, European um, navigation updates from Hyundai. So as we go here, we can see notifications that gives you updates, so like a blog. We have then the download software, so where you can just click here and you can download. So they support both Windows and for Mac OS. And then it gives you also a guide as well. So we'll be looking through the guide quickly just to go through the steps. So as you can see here, they're just um, making sure that you understand that you should use a USB, a full USB type A. A memory stick or equivalent SD card if your car um, requires that and also it must be more than 32 gigabytes in size and as it states here in the speed class must be over 10 megabytes per second and also the file system most importantly must be FAT32. I know a lot of the uh, um, Windows and Mac OS now will in try format into a much newer format so FAT32 is an older format so just be wary when you come to format the memory stick or your SD card that it is actually FAT32 um, because you'll, you'll fail to actually update and um, it might just it won't cause any problems, it just won't read the, the memory stick um, as being there. So that's normally the number one troubleshooting fault is that the, the memory stick has not been formatted in FAT32 and don't forget it has to be over 32 gigabytes in size. Um, so next we move on to the navigation update download so as you can see here all you have to do is click the corresponding buttons for Windows and then for Mac and then you'll be able to download the software it does have um, your before you update so it does have some recommended PC specifications but I think most will be covered um, with Windows 7, 8 and 10 I've actually tested it on Windows 11 as well and it works fine and um, on Mac OS as you can see here. Uh, web browsers it just requires the usual Internet Explorer or Chrome or Safari so that's standard for everyone and also just to make sure that you have over 32 gigabytes on your hard drive as well not just on the USB or SD card because when this program the Honda program downloads the files it first downloads it to your hard disk so it's just making sure that you should have over 32 gigabytes available if this space there. So as we can see here it's straightforward through the Windows installer so I won't take too, up too much of your time you can pause this and then I'll as a in the description I'll put the link to this site so you can go through it at your own leisure but as usual with installers you just download the file select the terms and conditions your model um, and the brand and then, and then you accept the terms and conditions again and then where you would like to install it and then it installs uh, it says roughly the same for macOS, it's just that in macOS you might have a few other options due to security. Uh, set, the way it's set up in macOS is when you download it you will have to go into your system preferences, um, security and privacy and then there will be a button on the bottom of the general tab 
where you click on open anyway and then you just uh, you might have to enter your password and then um, it will then ask you to open and then you can install in the usual way as the uh, windows one we've just gone through it's the same setup there and then it will just come to the completion so once it's installed you'll be able to find this program in your windows start menu or mac you'll be able to find it in your applications folder so next we'll go on to the navigation so as it's saying here straightforward just find this either on your windows desktop or the start menu or in your uh, mac os applications folder you just double click to launch the application here is a quick rundown of the steps that you can um, search for so basically you'll be searching for the vehicle model um, to see what it is and also for your software version so you'll be able to as it says here by to find that in your infotainment system within your car um, so that will be found in the system uh, settings system information and the software information or settings um, and then version information so of course it will be different between models but normally you'll be able to find that there is a a magnifying glass available you can just type that in and type version and then it should give you the version information menu so then you confirm your vehicle you click next and of course as we said before this will start to download but it will ask for the location so even if you do choose to download it to your SD card it will download it to your hard drive first and then copy it across it will give it's quite good as user interfaces go it will give you a um, percentage the download speed in the remaining time until you can and of course you can pause it if need be and then lastly step four it will say where you've got three buttons where it will say copy to USB so you click on that and once that's finished you can click on two uh, where the, uh, it's an open folder so you can just make sure you, all the files are saved in there and three if you want to actually select another vehicle um, but normally by then you just eject the USB uh, drive and then lastly as it says here this is the information around the uh, updates actually how to install it within your infotainment system within your car so it does give you all the options again if you've got a Genesis or Kia on them it will show you the relevant ones there as well so for my particular one of my Ionic um, EV uh, this comes standard with the Gen 5 widescreen navigation system and as you can see here it takes you straight to there and then shows you on the options and everything else to get the information but also how to update when you put the USB drive in so it's very straightforward and they've tried to make it as easy as possible and user friendly again of course they've got customer support here so you can go to customer support and it's again it supports several languages um, and uh, you can contact them if you do have any problems so I hope you found this useful and I think it's really good that they've released this now so we can just download the software and update our own firmware and be reassured it's actually from Hyundai or the manufacturer itself um, and not from a, a third party source. So it gives you that extra bit of security. Um, so I hope you found this useful and as I said I left all the links in the description so you can go through to this website and download the program for yourself. If you have any questions as usual please leave them in the comments and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. Have a great day.